Greetings from Woodlake Lutheran Church, located here in Richfield, Minnesota. My name is Scott Dawkus, and I'm the current Congregational President. I have a few things to share with you today, starting with my letter to the April newsletter. It starts with the Bible verse, Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. It has been more than two millennia since the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us and said this and many other things. And while our understanding of the unseen forces that drive our world has dramatically increased, our capacity to do great harm to ourselves, others, and the world around us remains a constant of the human experience. As Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, so too will we, will we be tempted in the times ahead. We can take sensible precautions recommended by those in authority, or we can give in to unreasonable fear and be led astray by false prophets, of which there will be legion in times to come. We can be as generous and helpful as circumstances permit, or we can hoard vast amounts of supplies, potentially depriving others of needed sustenance. We can focus endlessly on the worst possible outcome, or do our best to maintain a positive but realistic outlook on the future. As a church, we will keep calm and carry on. I close with Psalm 46, verses 1 through 3. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble in its tumult. A few other things to share with you. Now, Woodlake has long striven to meet the needs of our community by supporting volunteers enlisted to assist people, known by its acronym VEEP, and loaves and fishes. Loaves and Fishes continues to operate on Saturday and Sunday evenings but by providing a free meal to go. I ask you to consider supporting these organizations with your special offering envelopes this coming month. And once again, it has been announced elsewhere, uh, the office is closed, at least until April 13th. The mail is still operating and we are receiving mail. Also, Ebenezer, an essential employee of the health care sector, continues to use our facility during the week. So if you drive by and see the car, see numerous cars in the parking lot, it's them. I will now close with a prayer from the uh, Cranberry Book of Worship, a, time of a prayer for a time of national distress, something I quite hoped I would never have to say. Eternal God, among all the turmoil and changes of the world, your love is steadfast and your strength never fails. In this time of danger and trouble, be a sure guardian and rock of defense. Guide the leaders of our nation with your wisdom. Comfort those in distress and grant us courage and hope to face the future. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now I urge you all to go out in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.